Good morning. It's day 19. We just have a couple days left on this fast, and what an amazing three weeks it has been. Uh, I know that I've experienced the waves of uh, feeling the hunger pains and also the excitement of God answering prayer, and so uh, I just encourage you today just to continue to press through just a couple more days. I want to talk to you today about something that really affects all of us. When you and I get saved and we start on this process of serving God and trying to live a Christian walk, uh, there's something that increases inside of us, and it's it's called love, uh, our love for God, our love for people. And in John chapter 13, uh, Jesus portrays before his disciples really um, the very nature of love when he comes to the Passover and he takes off his outer garment and he wraps a towel around him and he gets on his knees and he begins to wash the disciples' feet. Uh, it's one of the most humbling things that can ever be done. I've uh, been involved in that many, many times in a foot washing service, and I've been the one washing feet and also uh, been on the receiving end of that when someone washed my feet. And Jesus was saying here, in order for you to be greater, in order for you to experience true love, you've got to be willing to be a servant. And uh, Jesus lived that in front of them. And so my prayer for you today is this, that through this fasting, as we end up this fasting, I pray that we come out of this fast with a greater love for God. Number one, most importantly, a greater love for God. Number two, a greater love for people. And number three, a greater love to be a servant. To truly have that heart to say, you know what, I want to serve. I want to do everything I can. And God, if it, it, it takes me getting on my knees and serving so I can get lower, so you can be exalted, then that's what I want to do. So pray the last few days, these last few days as you continue your fast. Ask God to give you that increased desire to know Him more, but more importantly, to truly experience His love and to have that love to be willing to serve it no matter what the cost. God bless you, and I'll see you tomorrow.